This is a capella, and this is also a capella. In Macau, a chapel and a bacon-laced meatloaf share a name. But how did this happen? By accident, it turns out. All thanks to a young boy. But before I tell you more, get your munchies on, because you're watching Taste Buds. Chef Antonietta Manau is the Mechanese chef who told me this funny story. After the Mass, every Sunday, the church will invite the orphan or the poor go to the, have a lunch together in the church. And then the kid bring to the home for the family to try what he eat in the church. He didn't understand why they call capella. Capella is meaning church. And then the parents ask, what do you bring to home? I, I bring the capella, and then why the food is called capella. The church played an important role in shaping the Mechanese diet since they were a wealthy institution who could buy food products from Portugal. When the food traveled to Macau, the church got their hands on it and shared it with the community. Capella is a Mechanese dish you can't find anywhere else. What is the Mechanese food? They call uh, the marriage for the two ingredients. What is the marriage for two ingredients? The marriage of the two ingredients is Chinese ingredients and Portuguese ingredients. Capella is made from bacon, Portuguese sausage, black olives, cheese, minced pork, and soaked bread. Ooh, that's heavy. The chef mixes all the ingredients by hand, makes a donut hole in the center so it heats evenly, glazes it with egg yolk, and bakes it at 180 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes. The recipe varies though, since Mechanese food is a cuisine invented in the home. In my home, we always do the bigger one, almost two kilos. If you want to find Capella in Macau, look for a hotel that is putting on Chagordo, literally fat tea. Chagordo is the Mechanese version of high tea. Uh, because I'm uh, very lucky because when I'm younger, I'm uh, 16, 17, 18, uh, I still have my grandma at home. And then my grandma still making the Macanese food. I want, uh, for the young girls in Macau, they need to know what is the Macanese food. Comment below if you want to learn more about Macanese cuisine. And make sure you subscribe to Taste Buds. Let's taste more of Macau together next week.